seen in their notifications so that they follow you back and that's the point hey my friend Jean-Serge Gaillon here and today we're going to talk about how to grow Twitter Instagram followers fast the right way and this is episode number 400 imagine that we've gotten to 400 episodes that's totally crazy in the course income secrets so we're going to get to that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets that's right episode 400 that's four zero zero that's a lot of episodes if you if you figure it out weekly that's 52 weeks per year which means it'd be in beef over four years although I did for a year I did uh once per day so that I did 260 in one year right so but today we're going to be talking about Twitter and Instagram and how to grow your followers the right way how to grow them fast but the right way right because there's lots of different things you can do to grow your followers and some of them are not the right way they're wrong they cause other kinds of problems I've actually done both I've done that even with Facebook uh, likes Facebook pages I've done it the wrong way and you don't want to do that because it in the end even though it seems to be valuable at the beginning in the end it's not valuable it doesn't it causes other kinds of problems we're going to talk about that before we get into that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis400.jsgagnon.com to watch the video and read the blog post because I will be posting as always a blog post and re I'm recording this as a full video because you might be listening to the audio like I said and uh, you might also not see the full thing because the it depends on which platform you're seeing this on all right so let's get right to it I'm going to share my screen and show you what I'm talking about all right so if we look at this I mean this is an account I created it's all about nfts and the point is not about nfts obviously I don't want to get into that in this video I want to talk to you about how do you grow your account if I look at this account right I've created it uh, on Twitter I created just a couple weeks ago I'm at 218 followers that's <clears throat> that doesn't seem like a lot but on Twitter it's hard to grow because there's things you can't do you'll get into Twitter jail which I did and I'll talk about that in a second the other account is the Instagram account again uh you'll see it's all about NFTs it's the same account Unicorniax that I created here but if I go to this account and I go to the profile you see I have 371 followers so I've got more followers they both were created around the same time well they were actually the same date and <coughs> the growth is faster on Instagram and I'll I'll explain to you why well I guess in this case it's because it's images right so images are more interesting to people on on Instagram than they are on Twitter and there's different things that you can do on Instagram and on Twitter as you can see I'm posting images there too and that's not as you know interesting to Twitter people although the NFT space is about images and it's a lot about uh, Twitter so there's a lot of things going on but that's beside the point what we want to talk about is how do you grow your account uh Instagram and Twitter followers how do you grow your followers fast right how do you do that what do you need to do to grow your followers fast and when I say fast I mean fast the right way I don't mean just like it sure you can hide well here let's go to the things that you should not be doing what not to do right first what not to do right what do you want to not do you don't want to post random content you're posting random content that's just like anything that's not really going to be good because um there's and you'll see why but yeah posting random content is not going to help it's going to make it worse because some people are going to follow you they're going to unfollow you and be like ah oh, this is not what I'm I, I didn't follow this for this and they're going to be like I'm, I'm going to unfollow and then you lose those followers right 
so you don't want to be posting random content the next thing you don't want to be doing is you don't want to be using automation or spam services to grow your followers now when you first create an account and you start posting you're going to get a whole bunch of private messages I mean if I look at my well I guess in the NFT space is different but no matter what you do you're going to get messages from people saying hey I we have a service we, we can give you a thousand followers in a day and that kind of stuff right and you know that that's true they can and because they have mechanisms in place they have robots they have all these different things that do that but the problem with that there's lots of problems with that by the way you don't want to do that uh, there's a couple things first Instagram will flag will will see that you use those services eventually that that'll be known and what will happen is that you'll have a black mark on your account and you're possibly even going to be banned your account might be shut down because of that and um even if your account doesn't get shut down you're going to get this black mark on your account which will cause you other kinds of problems like you know you might have issues with trying to do ads you might have issues your posts will be shown to less people there's all these different things that will happen if you do that right so don't do that don't use automation or spam services to grow your followers that's the worst thing you could do just you know for me like I had um I had done that uh a while probably four or five years back when I first started on on social media on Facebook I actually created um I even created a course on it because I thought that was awesome and everything later on I realized what it did but what I had as I had created a way to grow your likes on Facebook pages like crazy quickly and fast and cheap right I was doing these ads and they were costing like a couple pennies per like instead of what's typically two three dollars per like and I was like telling people about it and people were using that method too and you know but the thing is that after uh I, I think it was six months to a year later my account got flagged as being uh you know um, using unacceptable pol pol processes or or uh, techniques right they, they 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 don't like you doing that well, obviously it causes them to have less money and all that but even then I realized what it caused for me is that it caused my followers to not like what I was posting especially when I went from one kind of topic to another and half if not more well it probably doesn't matter you just need five or six people to say there that whatever you're posting is considered spam and all of a sudden you lose your page I actually lost my page I had 23,000 followers on it right so I lost the page it got deleted and it's gone there's no way to recover it now and that page like I said had 23,000 likes on it right that was Facebook but on Instagram and Twitter it's basically the same thing if you do these things that you're not supposed to be doing you're going to get into trouble you don't want to get into trouble with those because you know they own they own it they own your page they own your account they own your followers that's their that's theirs so you got to follow their rules if you don't follow their rules you're you know they're gonna just they're gonna you're gonna get slapped right you're gonna get what you um you're gonna lose it right that's basically what's gonna happen all right so now what should you be doing oh oh still I have another another one to not do number three what not to do is follow accounts suggested by platform now that's probably not true after your account has grown for a while because now they know what you want to follow what you, your account but in the beginning there's no sense in following what they suggest because they they will suggest the most active accounts the most visited or the most like posts and those kinds of things because that's just the platform overall right if you're building something particular then those you they're not what you want you know it's possible but chances are it's not chances are it's not even in your niche it's just the general you know population stuff what people like and that's not gonna help if you follow those accounts because that's just gonna muddy the water and make your account kind of messed up in the sense of what you're trying to accomplish right so don't follow accounts suggested by the platform don't follow you know your friends that are in your contact list don't follow you know those things uh, because that's not going to help 
in the long term right it's not going to help in the long term all right so now what are the things you should be doing to grow your account right so what do you do to grow your account let's go here here's what you should do right so what you should do is pick your niche for the account so number one you got to pick your niche now that's valid for any kind of online marketing social media marketing that's the first thing you got to do you got to pick your niche you got to pick what you're going to be doing so for me right these unicorn acts this nft stuff is nft space so cryptocurrency you know nft uh crypto wallets um and and and, and, uh, and meta metaverse and you know all those those things that are around the crypto space web3 all those things are what uh I'm going to be around but my niche is collectible nfts in my case it was collector collectors right people who want to collect nfts right and people who want to make money obviously from collections by reselling them that kind of stuff right so that was my niche so you got to pick your niche and uh so let's just do me my niche is nft collectors who want to whoops want to make money right so NFT collectors who want to make money that's kind of my niche that's who I'm targeting the kinds of people that are in that are that are being targeted right so obviously most NFT people are interested in making money but that's kind of what I did is who is your niche pick your niche for the account you got to make sure that that's clear in your head and you know even like write it down do what you need to to make sure that whenever you're thinking about uh, what to do that it falls back to whatever your um, niche is right okay so now let's do uh, next one is going to be number two is define your avatar so define your avatar that's again it's another marketing thing it's super important if you don't do that you're going to end up starting to follow people that don't fit and that aren't the right people and then what happens when you don't follow the right people is you well if they follow you back and they see your stuff they might mark it as spam mark it as they don't want to see it or they might unfollow you and all those things are not you know not not the best right the platform might look at how many unfollows you get how many all those things that affects your accounts visibility and affect your account uh, you know black marks that kind of stuff and that's important to define your avatar so for me it's you know um actually my avatar well I won't get into that right now my avatar is defined and I'm kind of following the people that are in that avatar so that's yeah so that's the thing. so let's go to number three number three so regularly post content that your avatar would like so when you think about your content it's got to be stuff that your avatar is going to be interested in now that's something you probably heard about a lot and you know but we're going to get into the actual tactics of what to do to follow and to grow we're going to get into that in a second but before we get into that I want to make sure that you know the basics the basics of building a following fast building followers fast and I'm not saying a thousand followers in a day I mean that's possible and there are tactics to do that but I don't recommend those tactics because you end up with the wrong followers so you got to do it in an organic way in a way that's quick um obviously if you have money you could probably pay to get followers right the the right way which that'd be super expensive but it's possible if you have the funds but you got to regularly post content your avatar would like like if I look at you know my unicorniacs I'm posting stuff about nfts right it's all just nfts and obviously it's my unicorns that are being uh, posted there right so that's I mean you've got to post what people like what they're interested in what is your avatar going to be interested in in my case I have uh, like things like board ape here right I'm posting about other things that are related to nfts and I'll show you how I do that too I've got another another I've got some tools that I'm using on um, on my Instagram it's the same thing I'm posting stuff about nfts right like this nft here is uh, something else I've got another one here that I bought I'm posting that and my unicorn yaks as well right so posting that stuff and that's super important is to be posting stuff that your avatar is interested in okay number four number four 
number four is follow the accounts your avatar would follow so if your avatar is interested in weight loss if they're interested in gardening if they're interested in in home home repair you know whatever your avatar is interested in go follow accounts that those people would follow right so go follow like you know if you're into uh home home uh, improvement well go follow you know homes go follow um discovery channel go follow things that have to do with home improvement right go find the home hardware and follow that go find you know bath bath improvements or whatever the kitchen kitchen remodeling or those kinds of things right so that's that's you follow what your avatar would follow so you got to define okay what would my avatar want what would they like if they're in a fa if they have a family then you know uh family vacations you know those kinds of things if it's that's what they're interested in then follow that stuff make sure you follow the accounts that your avatar are interested in and don't <laughs> don't follow the ones that they're not interested in don't waste your time following accounts that you might like but that your avatar isn't going to be interested in right that's super important to do make sure you do that make sure you follow the right people the right avatar the right accounts uh so in my case you know if I look at the who I'm following the follow the who I'm following here I can look through here and I can see that the list of the you know, nfts crypto whatever social uh, well I don't know uh, oh but the first accounts is like people that are into nfts crypto punks you know Ty Lopez nft money crypto to moons right so that's basically you follow accounts that are interested in what your uh, avatar is interested in okay number five let's do number five engage on post your avatar would again the same thing so if I'm going through my news feed here you know uh, I see something like this well I would engage on it I would engage on it you know this is this is uh, very right so I'm engage on it so comment and engage right so one of the things that I do obviously is I will go to this account itself and I'm actually going to go and you know uh, like these these posts right I'm just going to go like whoops sorry wrong one I'm going to go like the next one I'm going to like three or four right and that kind of at least and you know the better thing would be to actually engage and put a comment on it but as you can see with with the nft world everybody's commenting promote on promote on right they're all just it's all just spam right so if you uh comment on these on these posts and you're in a spam world like the nft world like I am and if you put comments on these on these that aren't spam then you're going to stand out right because that's what people are seeing is is uh, just spam stuff right so just comment be be engaging be posting things that people will be you know will like uh will notice you so do that be engaging and be commenting on uh, posts that people uh, that your avatar would engage on it, it, it's all about your avatar who's your avatar what's your target market you got to be focused on that and that's the first thing once you've gotten all that done once you're doing all that right I think I have number six yeah so follow the followers now this is where it gets uh this is where I'm gonna end uh, although I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about I'm gonna actually show you how that works and how you can follow the followers what do I mean by that right what do I mean by follow the followers um of your avatar follow the followers if follow the followers yeah 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 exactly follow the followers that your avatar would follow I'm going to tell you what that is and that's the main thing and then the other thing is um automate automate using tools allowed by platform right so then you can automate now for Instagram there is not really that much automation although there are tools that let you uh, plan ahead schedule things more or less right so that you can actually uh post and I, I'm actually not doing that with Instagram right now but I am doing it with uh with Twitter and I'm going to show you what that is but there are tools that are actually acceptable or allowed by um by these platforms so there's okay so let's just get right to the actual tactics a little bit the tactics of how 
to do this right so I'm actually at the 20 minute mark so that's good because now we have another about 10 minutes or so and I'm going to actually show you things I should have probably uh, I should have probably loaded up my phone here let me just uh, get that started and I'll come right back all right so now now that I have my phone right there on the screen so you can see um okay so Twitter and Instagram I've got them and other platforms that are but we're just talking about Twitter and Instagram right so first of all if I go to Twitter right I will see my feed right whatever is on my feed I see that there and if um and what I do is every single day and this is one thing you can do it takes like 15 minutes right you just go to whatever you're looking through your feed and uh you could have an account specific that you want to look at but I'm going to go and look at something like like abstract Jacob and I'm not sure who was it that I one of the ones that I'm actually uh, keen on right now is called um it's called uh, uh someplace it's a metaverse and if I look at my notifications I can actually see probably some of these and I can probably find them yes no this over here I have one right here so what you got to do is you got to go find your um well let's go find it right here I'm just going to go here and I'm going to go and uh, search for it down there I'm going to put in some place right so I've got some place which is one of the ones that I'm following so what you do is you go to that account right you go to that account and you click on their followers right here and then you just follow 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 you so now the thing is I'm not going to do it right now because I've already done it this morning uh I'm going to do a few of them right but uh if I do too many what will happen is I'm going to end up being uh, blocked so you can do I'm not sure what the number is I don't know if it depends on how long you've had your account but what you want to do is you want to follow the people that are following your you know top accounts right so let's say for example I can actually go like for now NFT women rise right <laughs> women tribe all these different accounts I could actually go to any of these accounts that I'm that I think are good accounts I go to their followers right there I click on the followers and then I just follow the fall followers but you do like 25 in a day right and you can try maybe 10 at the beginning I'm not really sure what the numbers are but the point is you do that every single day you follow the followers of the accounts follow the followers of the accounts and then what happens then what you do if obviously you want to go and engage on some of these <laughs> on some of these posts right make sure that you're seen in their notifications so that they follow you back and that's the point right you follow these people you want to make sure that they follow you back by <coughs> by noticing you in their notifications or things like that see if I look at my notifications right here I see these other people commenting on my stuff like see this one here uh, this person here actually commented on my post right here right so I can actually like their their comments their their reactions right I can actually do that so being engaging but following the followers of your avatar of the people that your avatar would follow right so that gives you a list now what happens with that is that you're going to get about 20 to 30 percent of the follow the people you follow that will follow you back and then what you got to do because you've got limits you can't on on Twitter it's a little different so Twitter is a little different but you would go to who you're following and you got to go down in the Twitter you got to go to the bottom bottom of the list as far as you can as long as and you can unfollow these accounts that are you know just unfollow some of these right so I'm just going to do a few kind of showing you right here just unfollow especially the ones that have no profile picture right you see this this Orlando Gary here has no profile picture right so you can unfollow those and uh and you know it's just because you want to have a good ratio you don't want to be following like 5,000 people and only have 200 following you right so you want to do a kind of a back and forth now you got to be careful you can't do 50 you can't you know whatever on on Twitter right so that's Twitter all right now let's go back and let's go to Instagram so Instagram is very, you do similarly you go and you look at your feed like we're seeing right here you see how I have NFT money I've got Williams NFT right here I'm just gonna like this stuff I just engage on some of these right I'm actually gonna um 
well I don't know about that one but so you see how I'm just I'm liking the post right I'm liking the post I'm going to go to this this account here I can probably just go ahead and engage on some of these now these accounts these big accounts with millions of followers they're not going to follow you back right they're not going to follow you back this one has 1.5 million followers and they're not going to follow you back but you still want to engage because then uh, your followers the ones that you want to follow you are going to see not well they might see but it's not really about them seeing it's more about the platform noticing that you're engaged that you're active that you're doing things but this is the exact same thing you go to the fall to the account like in this case nft money in my case right and then you click on the followers you see how many people they're following and you just follow right I've done them already but I'm going to do a few but you just go through like that and on Instagram you can actually do about a hundred in a day you can actually follow a hundred I've already done it like I said this morning but you can go follow 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 right you can do about a hundred in a day you do that every single day and you do the same thing you go to your account and you go to who you're following and within with Instagram at least you can do a sort by earliest so you do sort by earliest and then you know the top here is who you've been following the longest now in my case there's a few of them that are friends that are in the nft world and things like that and I'm not going to unfollow them but you kind of go down your list maybe you know after you've after you've you know, gone through the ones that you want to stay following and then you just unfollow right you just click on this to unfollow them now again I'm not going to do a ton because I've already done mine today but you can do about 100 unfollows 100 follows in a day so what you want to do is you want to follow people one day and then unfollow the kind of a couple days later so you probably do like when you're first starting out first let's say first week maybe just do follows follow 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 for five days you know about 50 to 100 each day and follow you know four or five hundred people right then after that you start unfollowing as well as following you're going to notice that your followers are going to grow and they're going to be you know lots of them are just following you back they're not really the people that you're interested in this is not really this is just the beginning so that starts your account going and then after that after that right you're going to have uh whoops let's do that after that you're going to have start you're going to start to get people that follow you because of your content not because you're following and all that stuff right so like for example this William William guy he's a he's a kid he's 11 year old but he's now he's kind of following me because I've been engaging and I've been posting and I've been helping him and things like that right so and then same thing with um the 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 someplace the someplace is a is a as a, a woman uh built company they're doing a metaverse about art about the beauty of art and uh I've been engaging and commenting and they're really a very interesting uh, project and because I've been kind of engaging they're now they're you know I'm in their radar right they kind of know a little bit they've been following they follow me back and things like that and they've been liking my content and so you know that's kind of what this is all about so that's that's basically the the secret to growing your followers fast oh one last thing let's go to the one last super bonus part I guess let's close this we don't need this anymore and I'm going to confirm the exit here okay so I'm just going to turn this off <laughs> okay so then not the last part that I want to talk to you about something called social jukebox now this is one thing that works great for uh, Twitter because it lets you uh, post content automatically and it's like for me I have these unicorniac things I have this so if I go to a rarity right this is basically what's called a jukebox I have these pictures in my in there and they get posted automatically by the process so if I look at the last posted right here so by this and see this one was posted today at 6 a.m this one's posted uh yesterday at 10 p.m then this one at 2 p.m and this one at uh six right so they're posting it's posting four or five of these every day and I have this other the other thing is uh, over here if I look at say for example this one then this is one of the cool ones the, you can actually connect to a news feed that is posting about your topic doesn't matter what your topic is if you go here 
you can actually see I have a dozen or so uh, news feeds that are being read right so you see this is this is all related to my to my avatar to my content right obviously you're going to post stuff that has to do with your content but this is like you know the defiant io the editorial super rare nft calendar blockchain council rarity sniper all these all these have a bunch of posts on their on their they're basically blog sites and then when I when it posts to my news feed you see it looks like this right so this one here is one of the posts that came from that from that um what they call jukeboxes so the way it works is with social jukebox you just create an account uh there's an, I don't there's an affiliate program but I'm not going to worry too much about it but if you want my link just let me know but basically you go to socialjukebox.com and then you just create an account you connect it with your Twitter account and then you just create a jukebox you say add new jukebox right and then inside the a jukebox is basically a container of posts that will be posted randomly throughout whatever schedule you choose and um you can choose you can have a certain number of jukeboxes you can give them the names you have you want you can have some with RSS feeds some without um but basically what happens is once you uh once you um add something to the jukebox it becomes something that gets posted over a certain schedule so if I look just show you the schedule here so the way the scheduling works is you can decide okay for this jukebox I want you to post every 15 minutes for this jukebox every hour for this one twice a day you know whatever you want so if I look at this I can see this has five posts right here at 5 15 there's going to be one from this at five is going to be unicorniacs and then at 5 59 is going to be the rarity thing right so I have these posts that'll happen between 5 and 6 a.m right if I look at some other you know what like this one here is four posts there's three from the RSS feed and my unicorn so I'm basically posting feeds uh news feed for for my community and my unicorn acts stuff as well right my unicorn uh, posts right so that's how you grow your followers fast by by creating content that fits their that they're interested in by following accounts that they're interested in by by engaging on posts that they would engage on by creating content that they would like so that's the secret know your audience know your know your avatar know what they're interested in and post stuff that they're interested in so that they will want to follow you and they would like your content all right hopefully that uh, helps and we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.